Hi, uh, good morning everyone. Uh, this is Raja Devata. Uh, in this particular tutorial, I would like to present about uh, antenna modeling using equivalent sources. There are a couple of ways that one can design the equivalent sources. We will be discussing about all these possibilities in this particular slides and also I will present a short demo of equivalent sources using model decomposition file. Yeah, we can see over here some introduction of this particular part actually with growing communications nowadays there are increasingly sophisticated antenna systems that are placed on the uh, electrolyte traps or you can think of any platforms probably it might be naval ships or uh, automobile vehicles any platform there are a lot of antennas are coming uh, one needs to place these antennas and further uh, what is going to happen is it's a challenge to study the coupling between these antennas and the resulting foresight interference. And with uh, advances in the electromagnetic simulations, the design process to assess the coupling between various antennas reduces the testing time and costs. And also it is ideal to use the actual simulation models of antennas during the design process. And system designers normally don't have access to the simulation models and these antennas for various reasons. They will be getting only the radiation patterns and stuff like that uh, from the vendors. So they need to find the options to work with these particular antenna patterns. It is then becomes essential that the actual antenna simulation models need to be replaced with the equivalent sources, such as you might be having a near field patterns or the far field patterns etc. In this particular short demonstration, I will be showing you about how we can export the far field pattern into a deep model decomposition file and we will be using that model decomposition file as an equivalent source and we will be setting the model for the antenna appropriately. You can see over here, this is the real antenna and by in general we will be setting the model for the for a simple horn antenna and then we will be requesting for the far fields and also we will be far fields and then we will be asking for the uh, solution coefficient file which represents the model uh, decomposition file format of our antenna that means that particular data we will be using it as equivalent source antenna and you can see over here in, in equivalent sources, actually an equivalent source is a numerically equivalent of a complex source. Significant result reductions in computational requirements is achieved when you are solving a complex problem through model decomposition file or model decomposition and further we can use it as a equivalent source. It's not only for this particular solution coefficient force uh, file, also, one can use the near field source, critical mode source, and far field point source. In this particular demonstration, we will be talking about solution coefficient source. Okay, let us head back to our uh, demonstration. In this particular thing, I would like to just first launch the CAD FICO of our. Uh, let me launch the CAD FICO. I'll go to search bar and I will let me launch the FICO 2021.2 version over here. And I would like to get the CAD FICO model over here. Yes, this will bring me my CAD FICO over here. And I would like to create a simple horn antenna model. One can create the horn antenna model from the scratch. Otherwise, we have a very useful and intuitive uh, feature that is available in CAD FICO, that is available in component library feature that comes very handy. I flick choose the con antenna from the component library. And, uh, I will select the frequency that because I would like to simulate the con antenna at 1 gigahertz and I would like to simulate the model using method of moments that is the solver type and I would like to use only one frequency because this is a demonstration purposes. I would like to choose only one frequency. Just let me add the simulation to the file. Okay. And I have the model over here. This is the model over here. You can see this is just a couple of clicks. We got our horn antenna model available from the CAD FICO. Otherwise, we need to create the boxes and everything, clear everything, 
and we have to set up the model. Okay. Once I have my HON antenna available, HON antenna far field. Okay. I got my far field pattern. And then I would like to go to the advanced tab. I can request for uh, uh, request for solution coefficient five. This is not available over here. Yes, let me click. Okay, and I can request for a solution coefficient five. You can see over here in the request tab, you can find the model decomposition. That's what it is going to request as the solution coefficient five. Okay, we just Select for the all structures, this will get us the model decomposition file. Okay, just go ahead and create. This is going to provide the solution coefficient file for us. Let me save this model as a on antenna on my desktop. Create a new folder and I am going to give a name as on antenna for this particular one. Since it is working at 1 gigahertz, I will type it to 1 gigahertz. Then I would like to go ahead and add on antenna. Okay. And let me simulate this particular one. How can I do that one? I will go to the solver run tab. Yeah. Yeah, we can go to the FICO solver and we can solve it. Otherwise, if you want to go ahead to the mesh and create the mesh, let me, it's going to take care of the mesh. Then let me solve the problem. Okay. FICO solver. I'm going to use the FICO solver. Yes. Let me solve this particular problem. It won't take much time. It will take a couple of seconds to solve this particular problem uh, in FICO because we are solving this problem at only 1 gigahertz. Our problem is it should be faster for us. And once it's done, okay, it is done over here. I can go back and I can go to the post FICO and let me plot the far field pattern of this particular phone antenna. This is, this is the regular phone antenna far field pattern. I got my, you can see the far field pattern over here. I can find this particular phone antenna result. Let me make it so that little bit I want to make it a pan view so that I can make it a pan view. And I can make it uh, the mesh. Uh, let me make the result to be opaque so that it looks it looks much better for us. Okay, we can make it opaque as well so that we can see this one nicely. Let me make it as sixty percent. Okay, this should be good. Let me save this one. Okay, I save this particular model. Let me go to my desktop and look into the a uh, horn antenna at one gigahertz folder and uh, I have my files you can see over here I set up the model and these are all the files that are relevant to the horn antenna file this is the solution coefficient file which we generated and asked us to generate this particular model decomposition file in this particular setup we will be using this model decomposition file for our analysis let me bring back with the new CAD Pico session Okay, let me bring the new CAD FICO session. And let me create a new model. Okay, I got a new, create a new model. Here in this case, we will be, our source is the data. Here we are going to use the data, model decomposition data. We don't have any, what I can call, we don't have any information regarding the geometry. We just have the data. We're gonna, you know, we are going to define the source as solution coefficient source. Okay, I need to go first to the construct tab, and I need to define the file into the CAD FICO. I need to bring the file solution coefficient data file which I was showing you. I need to import the data first into the CAD FICO. Let me go to the solution coefficient model solution coefficient file or we can yeah model decomposition which is the extension dot star dot solution create then i need to have my frequency has to, has to be set up at one gigahertz because i know that's where it is working at okay and let me define my source and source is equivalent source okay 
solution coefficient right that's what i have chosen and this is tag to the solution function let me create this particular one and then i will go to the request tab and what i would like to request is the far field pattern you see here the origin now you can see the equivalent source pattern and now i request the 3d pattern for the far field we replace the on and on with a equivalent source file in this particular simulation then let us simulate this particular part save as on and now and on and now and model decomposition okay so that we can differentiate between these two files okay now we got the on and now we got the equivalent source on and now then we can go ahead and because there is no it's only the data we don't need to mesh i can go ahead and solve the problem okay it is so fast and it's not taking much time and okay this is good let me go ahead and plot the results in the post repo okay this is the model decomposition file let me bring the real hon antenna to my post fico session so that we can compare both of it this is the real hon antenna and this is the model decomposition file okay we have both the files that are available now we can plot the far field of this particular one okay far field of the model decomposition you can see over here it looks exactly the same what we got and let me play with the result grid option let me make it opaque okay this will be better since it is looking at the model decomposition file we can look at the gridded fashion yes we can see the grid over here then let me plot the cartesian graph go to the home go to cartesian graph uh, and we can plot the far fields for both the real on antenna okay and also model decomposition file okay they're exactly matching i can't differentiate both the things of course we can plot them using yeah. okay of course we can plot them using cartesian uh smith chart as well not that is smith chart polar plot we can plot them in polar plot so that we can see both of them i'm going to choose the logarithmic scale gb and i would like to have theta wrapped and similarly i would like to plot for the regular one okay this is the regular one okay and you can differentiate both the things that's what it is showing let me make them visible by making going to the format because they are so same that's why we could not able to distinguish between the uh results okay that means we can use the horn antenna with, by replacing the horn antenna we can replace the horn antenna using the equivalent sources here in this case we can replace this real horn antenna with the model decomposition file and let me get back to the presentation and like it like us the slides okay we have we just simulated the real horn antenna using the component library feature at 1 giga h and we got the far field patterns similarly we took the solution coefficient file from the real horn antenna and we simulated that thing in the cad fico and we got the far field pattern again from the uh, equivalent source okay just this particular equivalent source and also we can see that both the results look the same over here uh, they are completely matching that means that we can easily replace the real on antenna with the equivalent source antenna for the simulations probably you can keep it on a aircraft or a ship or an automobile vehicle any platform you can perform this particular uh, uh, replacement of a real antenna with the equivalent sources okay this will conclude the demonstration of the model decomposition file uh, using the logo yeah you can even can replace the uh, real antenna with the model decomposition Thank you.